since history was first recorded here. Kerry has been a haven for sightings and events that science is at a loss to explain. Is this some sort of mass hysteria, a glorified folklore, or a glimpse at something that science can't even begin to understand? The county of Kerry has always been an area rich with folklore and superstition. Its history is rooted firmly within the realms of mythology and peopled with many bizarre and mystical entities. Over the centuries this mythology has survived and grown in both strength and quantity, in spite of the onset of modern civilization and its derisive attitude towards such belief systems. The mindset of the inhabitants of the county has both contributed to and been affected by the culture of earthy spirituality which surrounds them. But what exactly are these entities and spirits which have populated the collective psyche of the Kerry locals for thousands of years? And just how might the inherently scientific society of today explain what they are? Michael Cullity is a Shanaqui or storyteller who lives in a house in Barnfield just outside Curro in the locality of Castle Island. His vast knowledge of Kerry folklore and history could provide us with an insight into the origins of such mysterious beings and events. This is a part of the country where all customs die hard. And in my young days, there was no such thing as a radio or television or anything. And when the neighbours would come into the house, it was all the talk about the fairies and the good people. The good people are the, sp are the spirits of our dear departed that are compelled to roam the earth for a while before entering the kingdom of heaven. And it is said that at times they could be seen as ordinary people under certain climatic conditions. And many people, many people that died, they were seen here after. Uh, my grandfather, he wasn't long in Barnfield at all when a neighbouring woman came on a visit. She was pig mining and as she was crossing by an elder tree Near a fort in my place, she had the tapping. She looked in, and there was a small little man tapping a shoe and smoking a little clay pipe. Tell me, says he to pig, maybe you'd like a pull of the pipe? Ha! Huh? Bad luck to you, says pig. Tint out of wood, dirty go by, take it anyhow. And she walked away. A strange being is seen in the woods, a strange light is seen in the sky. Should it be regarded as an angel, a devil, or a spirit? An individual with a negative outlook on life, terrified of damnation, may be more likely to identify it as being a demonic entity. A person with a modern mindset, aware of popular television and film culture, may regard it to be something of alien origin. However, a person who has had a highly religious upbringing in a community with such deep roots in mythology as Kerry, may view it as something else entirely. It would all seem to depend on the perception of the individual. But just how have these perceptions changed from generation to generation? Timothy Duffin from Tralee claims that two years ago he had an encounter with a strange force here at Scotia's grave, located in the hills near his hometown. One night, he and a friend on their way home from Castle Main had driven up to the viewing point that overlooks Tralee town and the surrounding locality. They were listening to the radio and enjoying the view when things took a turn for the strange. The radio started going on a tune and this never really happened because it was it's because there's all these aerials that relay the radio signals around us. I was looking out across to another mountain range that's that was directly in front of us. I saw a light in the sky and it was like a very luminous light, like a flash of a camera. Um it started as just a small little pin and then opened out to a rectangular shape and then just disappeared. I thought it was strange, right, but I didn't really take much notice of it. And after a while, I, I saw the same thing again to the left of us. Like, if it was a plane, you know, there was no way that it, it could have been across this point here and then suddenly over here, like, within a minute, like, it was it was impossible, like, so... Tammy, she she saw it this time, like, and we got kind of uncomfortable and a bit scared, like. We started heading down this road, and after a while, uh, Tammy, she she thought there was something following us. She started to drive f faster, like because she was kind of pa she started panicking a bit. Um, I looked 
back again as we were driving down in the car and the whole place was lit up for a split second and Tammy saw this in her mirrors like so uh, so and she started to panic a bit more like and drive faster so so I blocked the mirror with my hand and um, prevented her from looking back I was looking back at the time like and I saw the place light up again like and the headlights were turning on and off so I just said to Tammy like concentrate on the road and don't go any faster like so she just started driving um, at a normal speed like um, and all this happened within like five minutes it, it was just all alright again we just started talking about what just happened like and w w did, was something really following us or was someone just playing a joke or we decided that we had witnessed something amazing like and we had w witnessed like something not of this world like